All right, my preferred way of getting the files off of the um, Orbis is by uh, finding up my computer, going to Wi-Fi, making sure that the Orbis is on, um, connecting to it. If you don't have a password, you know, it's the, all the numbers from 0 to 9, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is connected or connecting. Once this is connected, you can um, fire up your Ferro Connect software. This, based on the initial connection to the actual scanner, will uh, query the contents of what's on the actual scanner and will pre-populate all of these uh, projects that are on the unit that aren't on your computer. So anytime you see it's a, where it says import project, import project, that means obviously that project hasn't been imported onto your computer. If you scroll down, you can see that there's other projects that don't have the import because those were already imported at one uh, point. So currently, uh, just for a test, I have a small project that I will be importing. I'll hit this guy and I can proceed to queue the import by uh, obviously uh, specifying what I want to do with it. I usually just do a default process and maybe specify the type of uh, environment that I was actually scanning in. But just for clarification, you can tell that I'm connected. Uh, this is the icon that will indicate that you are connected to the Orbis. If uh, this is not available or there's an X through to through the actual icon here, that just means that you might not be actually connected to the scanner here. So make sure that this displays a blue icon of a scanner. Once this is here, these should populate. There might be some messages that pop up uh, in the bottom right over here, sometimes saying something failed importing here or there. But ultimately, if you see your um, thumbnails like this, that will indicate that everything's working and you can proceed uh, downloading or, I guess, importing the project that you want to work on or want to actually process with uh, whatever settings that you choose to use. So hopefully that's all that you need to know. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.